Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. Fast, flexible, friendly. Three words that aren't often associated with high performance software. But one company has found a way to harness the incredible power of artificial intelligence to help businesses of all shapes and sizes gain better control of their pricing. Today, we're joined by PriceFX CEO, Marcin Shihon, to learn how the world's leading SaaS pricing solution is making complex pricing simple. Welcome, Marcin. Thank you. I'm excited. It's, uh, thank you for having me. Well, we're thrilled you're here. And Marcin, what is the dynamic pricing and why is that so important? Well, dynamic pricing is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's the ability for companies to set their prices in a flexible and fluid way instead of doing it uh, in a very static way uh, with very infrequent changes. A very often used um, example for dynamic pricing is the petrol station around the corner, right? Which changes the prices throughout the day, depend on uh, the traffic, um, you know, visitors to the petrol station, which is very inappropriate example because it's highly simplistic. Dynamic pricing is very sophisticated, can be very sophisticated and can be very complex. And a great example for true dynamic pricing is one of our very successful customers in Switzerland, um, Ticket Corner. Um, it's a platform that is offering um, ski resorts in the Alps in Europe to offer their ski tickets on this platform to be purchased way ahead of time when you go skiing. And that means that uh, many, many different factors are being taken into consideration when defining the price of the ski ticket. It's how far ahead of the schedule you are buying the ticket. What is the uh, expected weather condition? What is the expected snow condition? What are the public holidays in the country surrounding the ski resorts that will have an impact on how many people are coming that day skiing? Um, many, many different factors that are being taken into consideration, many data that is uh, integrated into the solution, and that's what drives dynamic pricing, which means you are really defining the price specifically for the person or for the business that is making a decision to purchase. But that's business to consumer, B2C. In B2B, it's much more complex, even more complex than this. Because com when companies are doing business with other companies, they're not only defining one price, they're defining multiplicity of different price points that together make a price. I'm talking about the price for the good of services. I'm talking about discounts, promotions, rebates, bonuses, but there's also a lot of different costs to serve which means transportation costs, service costs, storage, payment terms, right? And all of this has to be brought together in combination to define the best possible price for the best possible transaction in a particular uh, point of time. And then there is a whole bunch of different things, like for example, external factors, uh, like tariffs. Um, you know, American businesses were exposed during the previous presidency to a lot of changing and fluctuating, fluctuating tariffs which had big impact on the ability to define prices. How quickly you can react to those tariff changes defines how well you can do in the business. And there is other things that can influence the prices as well, like extreme weather conditions, uh, fluctuating demand curves. It can be seasonality. So when you take all of this into account and you try to define the best price every single time when the transaction happens, it's highly complex. And that's where you need cool software platform. So what is PriceFX and how does it help clients better plan and execute personalized pricing strategies? Well, first of all, as a company, uh, PriceFX is a German startup. Um, we are headquartered in Munich, uh, in Germany, in Bavaria. Um, we are globally operating 24 by 7, uh, 365 a day, uh, providing support to our customers out of um, our main office um, in beautiful city of Prague in Czech Republic, which is our main office uh, globally. In US, um, we're supporting the Americas regions out of Chicago, and the APAC business is uh, served out of our office in Brisbane, Australia. So that's the company. Um, in terms of the solution, it really is a combination of two things. On one hand side, the platform. We are a SaaS business. Uh, we're providing a platform to all of our customers that provides the same functionality to everybody ensuring that they can use uh, the most sophisticated functionality and they can connect to all of their system that providing data and, um, and, and getting data from the system. 
On top of this, we offer our customers a very flexible configuration layer that allows a lot of individualization. And every business, every of our customers can separately on the platform configure their own pricing logic, their own pricing algorithms. They can um, you know, do what is important for the business, which is different than other companies or other businesses. And that combination of the robust, scalable platform and highly flexible, um, configurable configuration layer um, is a very unique, uh, you know, valuable position. And Marcin, what are some of the challenges organizations face when they try to manage pricing manually or using outdated systems? Well, there are so many that I wouldn't know where to start and we could actually speak all day about this, but uh, for the sake of the time, let me just focus on like two, three key challenges that are, um, that are really driving complexity. The first one is data, what I mentioned before. To define prices or to calculate prices, you need a lot of data and you need the data in the right shape and format. And preparation of this data takes a lot of time, which means that when a customer calls you and asks you for a price or for a quote, it takes a lot of time to get this done and submit it to it. So response time is, is very long and that drives disadvantages in the business. The other one is the human nature. You know, we humans are making errors, right? This is, this is the nature of how we, how we are and how we, um, how we operate. And those errors can have a very significant impact on the margins um, of, the, of the businesses, of the companies. And the last one is the absence of control, control mechanism. When you are doing pricing in an offline way, um, you know, if you're using spreadsheets in terms of integrated platform to do this, uh, your headquarters can be as sophisticated as only possible to define the best possible framework for your business, but that will be then um, you know, discounted in the field. And if you have no control over this, there is nothing you can do about this. You can only react post-mortem. So those will be the key challenges um, you know, why companies struggle when doing pricing manually. Right, so Marcin, what about potential clients that might not have much, if any, experience with dynamic pricing or that might need a ground up solution? You would be surprised, Katie, how many companies out there are still doing pricing using spreadsheets. It's a very common problem and we love it because that is business for us. Um, Companies currently are on the very steep learning curve, mainly um, caused by the current situation with the pandemic and with the increasing dynamics of the business and the globalization that you know, imposes a lot of um, specific requirements on the businesses to react quickly, dynamically. And that's why many businesses right now are in the process of getting educated and developing their approach to pricing that needs also a sustainable platform to put all of this um, you know, intelligence um, you know, on a sustainable platform. And that's where we come into the game. So we lack customers who are at the beginning of the learning curve, those who understand the needs, because once they're getting uh, their hands around this, they will realize benefits very quickly. But we also like customers who have been educated on the value that pricing provides and there is a ton of business out there for us, for us. So that's a good news. So is this a done for you solution or is there room for clients to gain a bigger understanding of pricing algorithms and strategies and evolve internally as well? There is a lot of room. Um, and that's also another differentiator uh, for PriceFX compared to the legacy solutions that, which we are competing with. We, from the very beginning, uh, declared not to want to be a black box, which you know, comparable solutions on the market really are. Um, there is a lot of space for configurability. There is a lot of space for putting your own logics and your own intelligence into the system. We are you know, acting as a transparent box. Um, you know, we unlocking every uh, piece of our functionality to our customers. Um, everything what we do is documented and publicly available which is pretty much the only company in the industry that does it. And we trying to help our customers to not only be very individual in the way how they configure and use the system, but also to own it and to be, sell, uh, to be um, sustainable in the way how they operate the system. That's a declared target. And I think that's another um, reason why we are successful. 
Archie, you are a young company. What of your accomplishments make you most proud? Well, I believe that we are the most proud that our customers are so successful with us. They are loyal and sticking with us. It's an incredible satisfaction um, having a broad spectrum of customers across the globe in different sizes and industries, being happy with what you're providing to them and openly talking about this. Uh, we are in the industry, the company with the highest customer satisfaction measured on the platforms, on the, on the public platforms. Congratulations. Thank you, and we are very, very proud of. The other thing that I'm extremely proud of is that we managed to create a great place to work. Um, same here, um, when you look at Glassdoor or any other portals that are kind of showing the satisfaction of employees with the company, we are ranking extremely high. We have a very, very small attrition and we feel like one team, like a great family. People like working for PriceFX and I'm very proud that I was able to create an environment like this. And the last thing which I'm really proud and very happy that I was able to disrupt an industry. It's not something that you can do every day. We did it. We definitely changed the, the rules of a game in our industry. Our competition at the beginning um, was laughing at us. Um, they were ignoring us. Um, then they started fearing us. Then they sued us. And now they are copying us, which is quite a big satisfaction. And Marcin, you've already accomplished so much and in just a decade. Thank you. You're welcome. What is next for you and PriceFX? Well, I think we definitely want to continue to innovate. Um, this is something what uh, you know was the inspiration from the very beginning, uh, being the innovator in the in the industry, being, being the disruptor. Um, and I hope that we can continue on this path, being always ahead of our competition and uh, not letting them to catch up. Um, I would like to continue growing the way we've been growing in the past. It's, it's a spectacular growth. We are the fastest growing uh, pricing software in, this, um, in the industry. And we would like to continue on this path and get ready for an IPO in uh, 2024, which is almost around the corner. Um, so fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, and uh, I think the, the third thing I would like to um, you know, keep, maintain is to be the best company to work with and to be the best company to work for. Um, so that's it. Well, uh, Marcin, you are an incredible, wonderfully disruptive, inspirational leader. Congratulations to you. And thank, thank you, you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It was fun. It, it, well, it was fun for us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.